Hello, this is Bishop, and this is a test of autopilot on firmware 17 or 2017-326CA28227. Uh, this is a continuation from the previous test that I posted a video for just before this video. And this test is specifically going to be of the highway lane change. So I'm currently on the highway. Unfortunately, it's not totally clear. There's a bit of traffic around, as you can see. Let me speed up the autopilots to the point that I can pass this guy. I've got a car that's directly on my left who's screwing with his phone, so that's awesome. And as soon as I get a little bit ahead of him, then I'm going to go ahead and give another 5 miles per hour. Ignore that 55 mile per hour speed limit on the uh, instrument panel. That is actually inaccurate ever since they switched the new system. And here we're doing the lane change. Well, that was nice and smooth. Um, ever since they switched the new GPS data system, uh, the highway information on the highways around here has been wildly inaccurate. It's actually a 65 mile per hour zone here, so I'm only going six miles per hour over the speed limit at the moment. Um, but yeah, so I just initiated that lane change. Uh, it waited until it was clear, it went ahead and did the change. It wasn't jerky like the, um, the first longitudinal uh, upgrade version before they switched these new version numbers that I'm not remembering the exact version number of off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, that looked good and I would like to try it again. If I can get some clear space here. Alright, I'll give it a shot now. Accelerating into the lane. Good job. Slowing down ahead of the cars. Now I still have a little bit more local road auto test to do, or autopilot test to do. Um, but one of the things that it seems like has gotten a little bit better, but I I'm, I'm really need to do more testing to know whether or not it's just was that particular instance or if it's actually overall gotten better, is um, the car seems to be doing a better job of slowing down ahead of stopped cars. Um, that is one of the bigger concerns that I have about autopilot right now is I would see this occasionally in my hardware one car, but I wouldn't see it particularly often. Um, but when I'm coming up on, uh, I'm going to do this one manually because the guy's trying to pass me on the right. <sighs> Jackass. Um, but what I would see is if there were cars stopped at a stoplight ahead of me, um, especially if I'm coming over the crest of a hill because the car wouldn't have great visibility, the car wouldn't not, would not necessarily notice the stopped car that well. Um, and it would end up braking very late. That seems to be a very common behavior in Hardware 2 Autopilot, um, and that's one of the things that I'm hoping they're going to improve in some of these versions. It's not exactly the sort of thing that will probably be mentioned in release notes, so I'm especially looking out for things like that in releases like this where there are no release notes. It basically just says minor fixes and improvements kind of thing. Um, but that was the test, and thanks for watching.